All right, here we go. All right, my amigos, let's talk about peacocking. Don't be a peacock, schmuck. Don't be a freaking peacock. Let me tell you why. The peacock, okay, has this huge plume of, of colorful feathers. The male peacock uses this beautiful array of feathers with colors, yellows and greens and purples and stuff. He uses it to attract mates. And the peacocks with the biggest plume, the most colorful, vibrant plumes, are the ones that get the most mates. But guess what? The plume is so heavy, all right? It's so heavy that they're not able to get away from predators. They're not able to fly away. They're not able to move fast. They have basically put all of their time and efforts into gathering mates so that they can continue the species of peacocks. That's what you don't want to do. Don't be a freaking peacock, okay? Learn to channel your sexual desires. Gain self-control of your sexual desires to get shit done. He spends so much time, this male peacock. Hey! Oh, hi, ladies. How you doing? Look at this. Look what I got for you. Oh, you like it, don't you? Oh, oh, ah, what the fuck? Ah! And he's not able to fly away. He dies. He's dead. Yeah, he gets a lot of ladies. He probably gets a lot of action. There's no doubt. He spreads his seed. But in the process, he's limiting his life. He's limiting his capabilities. Don't be this guy. We spend too much time thinking and wasting energy on getting laid. Okay, this goes for men and women alike. When your mind is busy thinking about sex and or attracting men, women, someone from your own sex, it's not thinking about success. It's not thinking about ideas, time management, organization. You know, we go to bars, which are expensive. Alcohol is expensive, my friends. The ladies fight over who is the prettiest lady. You know, there's a lot of resentment if someone is too thin, too beautiful, boobs too big. With the men, it's, it's uh, you know, pumping out your chest. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm the alpha in here. Fighting can be costly. You go to jail. DUIs are costly and counterproductive. You could lose your job. Clubs, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about clubs. Clubs are a complete waste of time. And by the way, I do go once in a great while. I enjoy them. I'm not going to lie. I like to be social. I like to be around people. Often I'm cooped up in my booth. I'm cooped up at home. So yeah, I do like to go out once in a while, but man, they are a waste of time. Everything in moderation. By the way, I will talk about this more in the future, okay? My uh, trajectory towards success had a lot to do with me being a fatty. I was a little porker. A little porky bastard. I wasn't attracting women. So guess what? I started reading voraciously. I started working on my, on my time management. I started working on me, gaining knowledge. This is when I started my business. I was overweight for probably about five or six years. Okay, this is in my um, mid-twenties. So I'm glad that I was overweight because I was able to find myself and who I was, and then I, I was able to build a business. So um, sexual transmutation, my friends. Napoleon Hill talks about this in Think and Grow Rich, chapter 11. When driven by this desire, men develop keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability unknown to them at other times. When harnessed and redirected along other lines, this motivating force maintains all of its attributes of keenness of imagination, courage, etc., which may be used as powerful creative forces in literature, art, or in any other profession or calling, including, of course, the accumulation of riches. The accumulation of riches! Which in turn means success, my friends! Stop being a peacock! Stop putting so much time and effort into getting laid or meeting somebody that's supposed to make you happy. Not gonna happen. Okay, you yourself need to be happy. Stop putting so much time into those things that don't matter. Start putting more time into you. Stay positive, be successful, share positive energy, gain positive energy, give it to others. Head out of ass, my friends. Head out of ass is the first step to success. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for listening. Peace out. <laughs>